So now we have the calculator here. Okay, we now do have our calculator. Now we want to use the calculator to solve this question. So once again, remember to always, you need to clear the calculator. So you press shift nine, three is equal to, and then AC. So I have cleared my calculator. Remember, we said that you must always change the D into R. And to do that, you press shift, you press mood, and then you select option four. So I press four. Now my calculator is ready to solve these questions. And we said that the, whatever the question gives you, if the question gives you 10, you enter the inverse of it. So now with this tan, we are going to enter tan inverse onto the calculator. So tan inverse, okay, then we enter this. So three over four is a fraction. So I click on the, sorry. So you have to click on the fraction key. So this is the fraction key, okay. Now we are going to enter three over four. So three up and then four down. Remember to move the cursor to the top by clicking the right arrow and then you close it and then you press is equal to okay now the question says if tan x so it means we have to save this okay to any of the alphabet here now because i have tan x here i want to save this to x and to do that you press shift you press store and then you press x so obviously I have now saved my answer to X. Now, let's see what we have. Okay, so now I want to find out tan X, so tan. And then let me press alpha, and then you press X. I close the bracket. Am I going to get three over four? Okay, so let, now you press is equal to, now you are seeing three over four. Okay, so the question now says, Evaluate cos x sin x all over tan x. So we are going to enter this information on the calculator. So cos x. Remember cos x sin x all over tan x. This is fraction. Okay. So before you enter this, you need to click on the fraction button. And so I press my fraction button. Now on the top of it, I can enter this. So I go cos x, so I press cos, and then to bring the x, you press alpha, and then you press x. Once again, remember to close the bracket. So I close the bracket, I have cos x. Now the next thing is to enter sin x. And to do that, you press sin, and then I need to add x to it. To do that, you press alpha, and then you press x. And once again, you must close the bracket. So I close my bracket. So cos x sin x, I have it okay on the calculator. Then divided by tan x. So I need to move the cursor down, okay? So move the cursor down by clicking the down arrow key. Then let's enter tan x. So tan x, I click on tan, and then you need to bring the x. So you press alpha and then you press X. Remember, you need to close the bracket, so I close. So you can see that I have exactly this information on the calculator. Now to get the answer, simply press the is equal to. So is equal to, you are getting it. So it means when you solve this manually, cos X sin X all over tan X, you are going to get this. Okay, so it is very easy and you can do it any day, any time. Okay, now let's take a look at the second question. Given that cos x is equal to 12 over 13, evaluate 1 minus tan x all over tan x. Once again, to do that, you must clear the calculator. And so I press shift 9, 3 is equal to. So now I have done clearing my calculator. Once again, you can see the degree sign here. I don't want the function to be in degree. I want it to be in radian. So to change degree to radian, you press shift, and then you press mode, and then you select option four. 
and so you can see that the R has now appeared and now we want to solve this question given that cos x is equal to 12 over 13 once again whatever question that you are given you are entering the inverse of it when the question gave us tan x we entered tan inverse x so given cos x you must enter cos inverse on the calculator and to have the cos inverse simply press shift and then you press the cos now you are seeing cos inverse and the cos is 12 over 13 this is fraction so you press the fraction button i have pressed it and then i have 12 then when you go down we have 13 okay and we have said that you must always move the cursor up so you can close the bracket so with the right arrow key i can now close my bracket and it is closed okay so now what you do next you press the equal sign so we have it's equal to okay and once again after pressing the equal sign what do you do next you must save it okay to one of these letters now for convenience sake the question said cos x so once again i am going to save this okay to x and to do that you press shift you press store and then you choose the x so what you see here this arrow here means my answer has been saved to x okay now let's see if i enter cos x am i going to see this okay so let's see so just cos and then let me enter x that is alpha and then x then you close the bracket so cos x is equal to so you see i am getting this answer here okay so the question has given you this you can even find tan x from this all you need to do is that just press tan okay and then add the x that is alpha and then x then you close the equal sign so it means if cos x is equal to 12 over 13 then it means that tan x will be 5 over 12 okay so now that i have this the question says i should evaluate one minus tan x all over tan x to do that remember this is a fraction a number on top and then one down so to have this you must click on the fraction button so i press my fraction button then on the top of it i have one minus then tan x so you click on tan and then you have to go and click on alpha and then you click on x so you can have tan x now let me close the bracket so i close it so you see the bracket is closed so the top one has been indicated now i need to move the cursor down so i can have the deno um, denominator so clicking it down we come to tan x and that we is simply tan and then you go to alpha and then you click on x then you close your bracket so once again you see that this exact question is what we have on the calculator once you are convinced that you have entered the right thing simply press the equal sign button so it's equal to so it means when you solve this manually you are going to get five and um, seven over five very easy and very simple okay so now let's come to the third question and the question says if sine a is equal to 5 over 13 okay where a is from 0 to 9 90 we should find cos a minus 2 sine a all over 2 tan a once again the question has given us sine and when we are entering we are going to enter the sine inverse so to do that you press shift okay and then sine so we have sine inverse there and 5 over 13 is a fraction so you click on the fraction button and then you enter 5 you go down then you enter 13 once again you need to move the arrow up by clicking on the right arrow and then you close it then you press is equal to so it means when you find the sine inverse you are getting this now the question says sign a so i want to save this okay to a and to do that you press 
shift you press store and then you press a so here i have saved my answer to a now i want to be sure okay that i'm doing the right thing so i want to enter sign a to see if i'll get this okay so you just press sign and then you bring the a and by so doing you press alpha and then you press the a you close the bracket and then it's equal to am i going to get that okay let's see bam okay so we are getting it here so that means our data that was entered is accurate once again your calculator can give you wonderful figures if you enter the right data now i want to solve for this all i need to do because there's a number up and there's other numbers down it means i need to bring the fraction key so you press the fraction key and then i enter cos a so i press cos then i have to bring the a and you do that by pressing alpha and then a then you close your brackets okay then minus two sign a so minus and then two then you bring the sign a okay so we have two sign a okay so alpha and then the a your brackets and then you close it up okay so i have entered the top one accurately on the calculator now i need to move down okay moving down i want to with an a so moving down you press two okay and then you press tan a so tan and then to get a alpha and then a once again you close your bracket now i know we are using this to help us in our mathematics examination but please always cross check the information you have entered to be sure that what you have is exactly what the question is asking you to once you are satisfied that you've done the right thing simply press the equal to thumb so it means when you solve this this is what you get and it is so 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 easy okay now let's deal with the last example that is number three and if tan b is equal to one over root three now remember when you were dealing with z you were taught that when you get this form of expression you need to rationalize deliberately the question has given this to us but when you enter this on the calculator it will rationalize that one for you okay so now let's go if can be is equal to one over root three once again we are going to enter this and i have said if the question gives you tan you enter the inverse of it so we are going to enter tan inverse by pressing the shift and then you press tan okay okay so the tan inverse of one over root three let's go so that is fraction so you press the fraction button we have one you go down then you press root three okay then you move up so that you can close your bracket so i close my bracket then you hit the equal to button and now i am i am having this okay okay so now that i am having this just relax okay it is so easy now once again you need to save it to any of the alphabets okay so to save that i'm saving this one to b okay so you press shift you press store and then you press b that means my answer has been saved to b okay so now the question says okay now i want to find out if i enter tan b will i get this okay so let's go so tan and then alpha and then b bracket close let's see what we get you see tan b you are getting root 3 over 3 do you know why simply your calculator has to rationalize this and if you rationalize this you are getting root 3 over 3 so so easy okay so it means that our data entered is correct now the question says we should find sin b minus cos b so let's go so you just press sign and then alpha and then b bracket close then minus um cos b so you press cos and then alpha the letter b you close the bracket is equal to so it means when you solve this this is what you are getting 
And this is so, 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 so easy in how to use your calculator to solve, okay, uh, to solve questions involving the trick ratio. Now, finally, these are the steps that we were following, the procedure, okay, for that. First, you clear your calculator. Second, you need to change the degree mode into radian mode. To do that, you press shift, you press mode, and then you choose option four. Then step three, you press shift, and then turn or course or sign. Here it means whatever the question gives you, if you are given turn, you need to enter turn inverse. And to get turn inverse, you press shift and any of the trick ratios. Then step four, you need to press the fraction key, okay, to enter the data. Then step five, you press the equal sign. And when you are done, you need to save whatever you have gotten. And to do that, you press shift, store, and then any of the alphabet. Thank you, and this is the end of this video.